All right, so the first thing I want to cover is URL rewriting and handling. So what we'll do is we'll create a folder here for our project. I'm calling this Rourke. And we'll create a file in here. And this is going to be an HT access file. So dot HT access. And what we need to do in the HT access is we need to rewrite and sort of redirect our URL. So we'll do uh, if module mod underscore rewrite dot C. So we're going to, this is basically, we're only going to do this if mod rewrite is actually installed and enabled on the server. Otherwise we can't really use it. So uh, we'll wrap this in that if block. And then what we want to do inside here, so the way that our, our applications can be structured is if you've ever worked with something like WordPress, or I'm sure the Joomla's and the Drupal's of the world do this, but you'll go to a page, for example, that's, you know, yourdomain.com slash about. Now, if you were to go on the server, that about page wouldn't actually exist at yourdomain.com slash about. Okay. And so, you, if you, again, if you've worked with WordPress, you know this and, and so forth. So the way that that works is we use is we use mod rewrite here and we use these rewrite conditions to any request that doesn't request something that doesn't exist on the server we're going to pass it to our handler and we're going to try and handle it and then if we still can't find anything then we are going to throw a 404 so to get all of that started, again, we need to, to start with making sure that we're able to grab all of those different files for something that is not, uh, doesn't exist. So first thing we're going to do here is turn the rewrite uh, engine on. So we'll rewrite engine on. And then we're going to create a condition. So this is like essentially an if statement. So if we do rewrite and we're going to do con so rewrite rewrite condition and we will do our percentage sign and then we're going to do these curly brackets and we're going to do script file name and okay so an exclamation point dash d so essentially what this is saying is if the requested file name doesn't is uh is it's a directory that the server think is thinks is being uh is being requested doesn't exist that's one of the conditions so if and then the other one is essentially the same thing except instead of a directory we're going to do we're going to do a file so dash f so this is going to any files or directories that someone tr uh, someone tries to go to that don't exist on the server they're going to be passed to they're going to meet these conditions and then they we are there those requests are going to be redirected to where we set our rule here so we're going to do rewrite rule and this is just at the beginning here this is essentially some wild card stuff uh, what this is saying is essentially we want to uh, pass all of the, the entire path that was requested. We're going to send that to index.php and we're going to store it into a query variable. And that query variable here or, or URL parameter here is going to be Q. It can be anything you want, but that's just we're doing Q for query. So we're keeping it simple. And then LQSA. Okay, so if any of any file that is requested doesn't or directory that uh, is requested that doesn't exist on the server, we're going to send it to index.php, and we are going to put the requested path into a query parameter uh, named Q. So that's that's what we need for our uh, HT access file. Now real quick, let's go ahead and let's create a new file called index.php. And in index.php, this is actually where our entire, this is where we're going to load up everything eventually. But for now, 
what we can do is let's just do PHP and let's do print R and request. Okay. And let's come over here to uh, our, our page here. Now, if we, we're on the home here, then we notice we get a, a blank array. But if I say something like about, then you see I get Q equals about. If I do category slash dog slash cat slash monkey slash apple, I get Q equals category slash dog. So whatever is requested, it's going to be in this Q variable. So that's the start of all of this because we need to be able to know what was requested. And then from there, it's just a matter of now that we have that path that was requested, well, now we can handle that in our URL. We can check uh, eventually the content that we create to see if we have a match uh, and so forth. But to get everything started, you need to set up this HT access file, how we've done it here, and start the URL, URL rewriting. Now, I'll drag this down here just real quick. You'll notice uh, it doesn't, we don't have index.php in here anywhere. And you'll also notice that even though we have this Q parameter and it, if we, uh, let me do this real quick. If we do get like this and we refresh that, you'll notice that we still have Q equals, but there's no URL parameter up here. That's what the rewriting does. So this is how we get these, these pretty links that, that you may have tried to do before or see people do before. So, uh, the even though the query variable is not actually going to be in the URL, it is still there in the request information, and that's what the HT access file does for us. All right. Hopefully, you're enjoying the course up to this point. Now, if you'd like to keep going and finish it off, all my courses are available on Skillshare, and not only will you get access to all of my courses, but over twenty thousand others on web design and web development freelancing, graphic design, online marketing, and more. And it's all for just 10 bucks a month. And as a teacher on Skillshare, I can give you a two month free trial. You'll get full access to the entire library of courses and you can cancel at any time before the trial is up and you'll never be charged a penny. To learn more and to start your two month free trial, head on over to johnmorrisonline.com slash Skillshare.